The both teams to score betting option is one of the hardest betting options to a lot of punters, and I know the reason you often lose with this strategy is either because you depend on luck or you are choosing based on the odds provided, but it's actually one of the easiest to win, and you can increase your chances of winning to 85% if you follow these strategies I will be sharing with you in this video properly. These strategies are situations where you should consider going for both teams to score options, as you should not select the goal goal market for just any game. The first thing you should look out for, before selecting the BTTS, is the matchup balance of both teams involved. When two evenly matched teams in terms of strength and ability meet, there's a high likelihood that both teams will score. Meaning, it's logical to select the BTTS option for games like Bayern vs Leverkusen or Man United vs Arsenal because in these matches, both teams are close and can equally challenge each other. But selecting this option for a game between Man City vs Everton or Inter Milan vs Empoli is not a wise choice. Don't get me wrong, anything can happen in football. In fact, these small teams can luckily score back. But if you want to be a regular winner with goal goal, you shouldn't rely on luck, no matter how enticing the odds are. But a balanced matchup isn't only about the big teams. West Ham vs. Aston Villa, Fiorentina vs. Atlanta, Freiburg vs. Union Berlin, Villarreal vs. Real Betis and so on are all balanced matchups that have high winning probability for BTTS. The second scenario to select the goal goal is the attacking styles. When teams that play attacking, open football face each other, the chances of both teams scoring increase. Sometimes a match between a big team and a small team which may seem unbalanced can produce a BTTS result. I mean, a match between Arsenal and Nottingham Forest looks unbalanced, but considering the goal-scoring form of Nottingham Forest, this match is likely to produce goal-goal. The most important thing for this strategy is checking the goal-scoring form of both teams instead of deciding based on the names of the clubs involved. The third scenario is weak defenses. If the teams have weak defenses or are known for conceding goals frequently, BTTS becomes a more reasonable option, no matter the names of the clubs involved. A random match between Manchester United and Young Boys can produce a BTTS winning result. Because of both teams' weak defenses, if the stronger team's defense is not so strong and the weak team is just good enough, the chance of goal-goal is high. The fourth condition to select the BTTS is when both teams have a high-scoring history. If previous meetings between the teams have consistently resulted in both teams scoring, it's a good indicator for BTS. To always win with goal goal, do not select too many games that includes this option on your bet slip, and do not bet based on the names of the clubs involved. Only bet on the current form of the teams or the past results, if the previous outcomes are consistent.